Hi everybody and welcome to Doing Indie. I'm Seth and I gotta ask you, are you sick and tired of your job? I love Excel. I love Excel. Do you feel completely underappreciated at work? Hey Bill, I've been thinking that I should take more of an active role in the uh, decision making no. process here. At, uh, no. No. Well you know what, you've come to the right place because Doing Indie is going to take you to two very special locations today where you can go and be a profession that you've never been. The first place we're going to take you is Oakley's Bistro where you can go and be chef for a day. And then after that we're going to the Indianapolis Art Center where you can do all kinds of cool stuff like ceramics and woodworking and metal smithing and, and pottery and even glass blowing. And we're going to take you along on this episode of Doing Indie. You know what we should probably do before I actually get into all of this stuff is to actually explain who this is. And this is Stephen Oakley. He owns Oakley Bistro. And one of the things that he's allowing us to do is come in and be chef for the day. Can you explain to the audience what exactly being chef for the day entails, how it works, what all goes into it, and what happens? Well, what we wanted to, to do is we get a lot of people that have a, customers that have interest in cooking. So they always wanted cooking classes and things like that. So this was a way to, uh, uh, allow them into the kitchen actually, you know, see what goes on, see what happens, uh, see what kind of fun we have. Well, and this is the uh, cost is what, 200 bucks for a person to do this? 200 dollars for a chef for the day. They come in, they spend the whole day in the kitchen, uh, they work, we, you know, uh, try and show them some tips and things like that and show them a cooking technique or something something along those lines Then they come back for dinner for two um, Not including alcohol right and uh, three courses for each person so uh, you get to try a lot of different things on the menu And then at the end you get a nice chef coat with the Oakley's uh, logo autographed and everything so it's a complete package and they walk away with you know the the whole idea and the whole concept behind what we do and, and what it's all about, and how it all comes together is really the, the, the highlight of it. All right, Stephen, I gotta tell you, I've done this show, this will be episode, I think, 47. Done a lot of shows, but I gotta tell you, this is one of the most fun and exciting times that I've had coming here and helping to cook. And if you ever need somebody who can peel broccoli <laughs> or tear it apart or chop up some chives, man, you gotta give me a call, all right? All right, we'll do, all we'll right. do, awesome. Well, I'm ready to dig in, Zach, you ready? Yeah, can we eat yeah, now. We can eat yeah. now. All right, let's eat. All right. all right, we've done the cooking thing, but if you're still saying to yourself, Seth, I can't do cooking. The best I can do is slice cheese. Cheese, I love you. Well, then maybe you should try your hand at art. And no better place suited for that than the Indianapolis Art Center, located in Indianapolis, we're with Dave Thomas, who is the Vice President and Director of Programming, and this place has it all. If you want to try your hand at anything from photography to sculpture to ceramics to woodsmithing to something that we're going to try today, and that's glass blowing, this place has you covered, doesn't it, Dave? Absolutely. We have over 275 classes every semester, so you have plenty to choose from. Short term, long term, we even have drop in classes where if you just want to come in for two hours and try your hand, you don't want to commit to a long term type of involvement, you can try it for two hours. And what's really cool is all the stuff that you guys see on the walls right now, this is the stuff that your students have, done, has, have created, right? Right, yeah, this is our annual student show. And uh, we have an adult category, we have a professional category, we have a novice category, so everybody can be included. And we have children's work on display as well who have taken classes here at the Art Center. So we have a sculpture studio, we, you can do stone sculpture, you can do bronze casting, iron casting, assembled metals, you name it, you can do it here at the Art Center. And you don't have to be a professional artist to do this. You can come in with no, no background in art whatsoever and we can get you in the right class. Well, that's really cool. I'm excited. Dave's excited. I'm ready to go try my hand at glass blowing. I mean, of all the things here, I think that to me is one of the most fascinating things. So Dave, I'm putting myself in your trusting hands. Lead the way. I'm standing here with Lisa Pello McNeese, who is the premier glass blower here at the Indianapolis Arts Center. And um, I gotta tell you, it's really, really hot standing right here, isn't it? Oh, very hot, very yeah. hot. It takes a lot of getting used to. In fact, on our first couple days training somebody or getting, you know, learning how to blow glass, it takes several weeks or more to get your body acclimated to working in front of a glory hole that's 2,500 degrees. 
So we're trying to make a beer mug. You're very optimistic. Yes, we'll go with that. But would you settle for a shot glass? That's usually the best we can get on the would first time I? round. In a matter of glass. No! How cool is that? I mean, I made my very own paperweight. And I know you're probably saying to yourself, that looks just like a little glass ball, but you know what? It's mine. And I made it. I had the chance to get out there and actually try something. And that's one of the coolest things about Indianapolis is that you can get out there and try all kinds of things. This is episode 47, and it is by far one of my top five favorites because of everything that we got to do. And there's a secret to all this. You want to know what it is? You do, don't you? You can do it too. You just got to get out there and do something. So for doing indie, I'm, you guys know all that stuff. I say it every week, get out there and do something. See you next time. Cheese, I love you.